We may be on the cusp of the biggest Walmart strike ever this coming Black Friday. Millions nationwide will either be protesting outside of one or intentionally not shopping at the world's biggest retailer and largest supplier of Hello Kitty micro fleece one piece 3D hooded pajamas. <laughs> I own five. People are protesting and striking nationwide because Walmart is a monster. It's a monster that devours small towns and then shits out steaming piles of trailer parks. All right? It is to the American workforce what Simon Cowell is to music. Yet, you're worried about taking part in these protests because you don't want to see, you know, seem too political. I understand. People call me too political all the time. Oh, Lee, you wear your politics on your sleeve and your thong on the outside. That was one time, and I read the invitation wrong, all right? I'm told I'm too political for most TV shows. I'm too political for most college campuses. In every children's birthday party I perform at, they lodge a complaint. Uh, we didn't like that the clown put the balloon animals inside cages and said they were factory farm balloon animals. <laughs> well, screw you then. <laughs> but here's the thing. Everyone else is equally political. Every time someone refuses to address the important issues facing the world, they are in fact taking a very political stance. They are defending the status quo. They are standing up boldly and saying, I'm fine with the way things are. Do not question the continued pillaging of the world. Do not ask why the top 0.1% have 81% of the world's wealth. Have a seat, say thank you for your portion of fried onion cheesy poppers, and talk about sports. Damn it. That is a political stance. What we do by screaming, they do the opposite with silence. What we do by speaking out, they fight against with obedience, all right? And, and it's not just at protests. Every time someone allows their boss to get away with comments that are racist, sexist, or homophobic, he or she is taking a political stance, not a neutral one. Every time people turn a discussion about the largest surveillance apparatus ever created, into a conversation about whether you should really care if the FBI knows that you braid your nipple hair. They are taking a political stance, all right? I took that photo of myself. <laughs> They're allowing the power elite to continue their butt wiping with our beloved Constitution. So as I was saying, the workers protesting terrible wages at Walmart need your support. You know Walmart, right? We're, we're, all, we're Walmart. Where else can you get a wife beater t-shirt, confetti and Vagisil and a single combo pack? <laughs> Walmart. Remember that lovely store down the street owned by that adorable family? We won't mention what happened to them if you don't. <laughs> Walmart. Not only do we have blood diamonds, we have blood snuggies. Walmart, making people who work elsewhere thankful they have that job they hate since 1982. Walmart, we're not that bad. Think about sex trafficking. That's totally worse than us. Walmart, we'll soon have sex trafficking at everyday low prices. Walmart, we've changed our motto to we think your baby is butt ugly. It looks like Jack Nicholson's droopy neck skin. All right, that's our new logo. And yet, our new slogan. And yet, you're still going to shop here. We know you are. Seriously, though, do something about that baby. <laughs> Walmart, the truth is we're a social experiment to see just how horrible we'd have to be to get you to stop shopping at the place that has the lowest prices. And we haven't found anything. What do we have to do to your community, your family, your friends to make you stop? We pooped on your leather couch, literally. We literally <laughs> on it, and you're still going to buy the stain remover at Walmart because it's 78 cents cheaper. What the is the matter with you people? <laughs> so those of you who aren't talking about these worker strikes, you are siding with Walmart because silence is a political stance. It's defending the status quo.